New Year's Eve, 1991. Next morning, prices would be freed. Gaidar's reform would directly affect the man and woman in the street. It would also mean the end of everything the communists had stood for. Next, Gaidar abolished the Soviet law that made private enterprise a criminal activity. Gaidar believed that an effectively free market would put an end to shortages. He didn't have long to wait. I was driving to my office on Old Square, past Detsky Mir, the children's shop. And I saw a huge crowd of people. I sent my aides to find out what was going on. And they saw hundreds of people with various kinds of goods. They were holding up the decree on the freedom of trade whilst trying to buy or sell stuff. So that's when I understood that in 75 years it had not been possible to extinguish this entrepreneurial spirit. That was one of the pivotal points. Starting from then, there were no more shortages in Russia. I felt that we were right and that market forces worked even in this tortured economy. The market may have been reborn, but for ordinary Russians, reform meant higher prices. I hurried to a department store to look, to look at the faces of Moscovites whether they would revolt, looking, you know, at all these skyrocketing prices because Gaidar thought that they would increase twofold. They increased twelvefold. Prices kept rising. The hardliners who controlled the central bank made it much worse. Their policies fueled inflation. In Norilsk, factory workers like Yuri Kamatov were cleaned out. 